I'm Lady Asuka and today we want to talk about hair toggles to switch hairstyles with a button press. A little heads up though, you will likely have to set this up from scratch and can't reuse old models or swap out styles you already created because most will replace each other. So plan this out before starting a new model. We start in V-Roid and this will work a bit different than the clothes swaps. The trick here is not only the layering of different hairstyles, but especially the material. Let's start with a simple haircut and then we add pigtails that we want to trigger later via a blend shape. You can of course make way more advanced toggles, I'm just presenting you with the basics so you can build upon that. We duplicate our material for the pigtails and it's important that this new material that has to have the same texture as your main hair is added to all necessary hair strands and groups. Of course, if you want to switch between colored hair strands or textures, ignore this advice completely. Also, all hair, no matter how chaotic it may look at the moment, has to be visible before export. So it doesn't matter how many hairstyles you have, they all have to be visible before you export. Now we export our avatar and don't forget to disable the lead transparent meshes and combine hair meshes here. So we have access to all different parts of the hair and the material. Then we switch to Unity and open a new project. You should be able to do this with any version of Unity or the Univian plugin, so this time we don't worry about the versions. Once Unity loaded completely, we go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package and select our Univian plugin. As always, you can find all relevant links down in the description. After the plugin is installed, we create a new folder for our avatar and move the .vrm model directly into this folder via drag and drop. We then move the avatar to the left into the sample scene so we can test what we're doing. Then we find the materials folder of our model here on the left. You should have now two identical hair materials that correspond to the different hairstyles if you set it up correctly beforehand. You can test that here by going into the inspector to the right and under texture, move the transparency slider all the way down. Whatever is disappearing will be the thing that will be triggered if you set it up with a blend shape later. So the first goal is to set up your main hairstyle that your model will use as the default. All other hair should be set invisible here with the trick I just showed you. Under texture, move the transparency slider all the way down. Then we go to blend shapes and create a new blend shape clip. I will name mine pigtails and down in the material list I will add the hair material that I want to trigger and want to turn now visible. You can check that beforehand under the materials because the hair materials will have a number in the end even though they look the same. Like 01 or 06 for example and with the transparency trick you can double check if it's really the right one. Back under blend shapes, I will now also add underscore color, which will work with the same transparency slider. Only this time, we turn the transparency back up. If you want to make your default hairstyle disappear first, you can also set up a second material and turn the transparency down. So once the blend shape is triggered, your old hair would disappear and the pigtails would pop up, for example, or your new hairstyle would pop up, depending on how many you set up. Don't forget to also set the color to white to show the original color here on the color wheel. Otherwise, your part will be black by default. Last but not least, we now export our avatar over the VRM0 menu and test the triggers in VC phase. And that's it! I hope you found this one helpful. Subscribe for more tutorials and I see you guys in the next one. I hope you have a wonderful day.